Thanks for joining us at XM.com for this Forex preview video. We'll be having a look at U.S. data coming up this week. I'm Cristina Marujos and joining me today is Senior Investment Analyst Mario Sejikiriakos. So it's going to be a very busy week for the United States. The economic calendar has a lot in store for us, Marios, with the highlight probably being the latest U.S. inflation report out on Wednesday, followed by the retail sales report on Friday. Markets, though, are already pricing in a 90% probability for a Fed rate increase in March. Do you think the upcoming data will be crucial in solidifying that probability? Hello, Christina. Most definitely. The U.S. inflation report has turned into the most important release in the financial markets, obviously because it's the most important data point for the Fed at this point. Now, what are we expecting this week? In a nutshell, I think we're going to get a strong inflation report, but then we might get uh, some disappointing retail sales data on Friday. And let me unpack that. Inflation is expected to have fired up again, especially the core rate, the one that strips out energy prices and food prices. That's expected to have really jumped. And the forecasts are supported by the market PMI survey. So these business surveys, they suggested that companies raise their selling prices at a very strong pace even though it cooled a little bit from previous months and that's exactly in line with what the monthly CPI forecasts are expected to show. So we could get another acceleration in inflation but we might also get some bad news on Friday. So retail sales, the forecasts are for a pretty neutral report but if you look at some smaller spending indicators, for example the credit card spending data by JP Morgan, the those point to a serious disappointment. Those suggest that a combination of Omicron and not so strong holiday spending in December, specifically those weighed on consumption. So I think we could get a small disappointment. So it could be a roller coaster of a week. Good news on Wednesday and then some bad news on Friday. And now let's turn to the markets. How important could this week's data be for the dollar and can it regain its strength? I believe it can, and the data are going to be absolutely crucial. So I think we're going to get on Wednesday, we might see some dollar strength. If the inflation report is on the strong side, that could seal the deal for the Fed to raise interest rates in March. That's already priced in with a 90% probability. But then we could get the disappointing retail sales on Friday that could see some of those gains evaporate. So I think it's going to be a volatile week for the dollar. Now, overall, the picture in the near term remains positive in my view. The US economy is in really good shape. The labor market is heading towards full employment. Wages are starting to heat up. Consumption has been really strong. And of course, inflation is so hot already. So the markets right now are pricing in three and a half rate increases by the Fed in total for the year. If we continue to get signs that the US economy is strong, the market could shift towards pricing in four rate increases and that would argue for some more dollar strength in the near term particularly against the Japanese yen because the Bank of Japan is not expected to raise interest rates anytime soon. Marius, thank you for joining me today and thank you for watching this Forex preview on US data coming up this week here at XM.com.